Power Scrapper is currently one of the best builds available in game and you can use it for all group content. It offers a lot of sustain with a lot of barrier uptime with permanent quickness and 25 stacks of might which will enable you to do very high damage. You will also have a lot of utility options which will make the build very versatile and you can do a lot of stuff with it. All of this makes the build perfect for any solo stuff in open world like for example if you are working on your story or collections and masteries it will also work very very well in group content like fractals, strike missions and raids. And at the end of the guide I will show you how with few changes you can do a lot more damage in group content and also how you can play this build as a power quickness support build when your group needs it. So let's get started. What you will see now will be the main setup for the build but you will have cheaper and easier options to get in the description below if it was needed. You will also see a bunch of related guides like how to gear up any character from scratch and everything you need to know about relics and also how to improve any build in open world. So make sure to check the description for all of this. For the armor, we will use a full set of Berserker with infiltration room. We're using a Berserker hammer and Berserker rifle. Both have sigil of clarity and rage. The trinkets will be a full set of crusader and we will use relic of the chronomancer. For the food, we will use soul pastry. And for the utility, we will use magnanimous maintenance oil. For the traits, we have firearms 3, 3, 2, explosives 2, 1, 3, and scrapper 113. For the utility skills, we have Medic Gyro as our heal, and then we are using Bulwark Gyro with Blast and Shredai Gyro, and the elite is Sneak Gyro. The build works together very well because most of your sustain will come from your damage. Impact Savant will convert 5% of your damage to barrier. Rapid Regeneration will give you a lot of heals per second when you have super speed. Gyroscopic Acceleration will give you super speed anytime you use one of your wills, which are basically all of your gyros from your utility skills. It will also make your F5 apply super speed. And then we have speed of synergy will make your healing skill apply even more super speed. And so will your F1. Big Boomer will heal you when you hit enemies with explosions. And it will do 15% more damage. Hammer 2 will give you an explosion. Blast Gyro is also an explosion. And Aim Assisted Rocket is also going to keep firing explosions. All of this will help keep the Big Boomer buff on you most of the time providing a decent amount of heals. A big part of your damage will come from quickness and relic of chronomancer will give you a lot of it because you will get quickness every time you use one of your gyros but on top of that on the hammer we have sigil of clarity and rage that will also provide quickness which means with the sigils and the relic combined you should have a lot of quickness and it should be 100% most of the time you will also generate a lot of might from your hammer auto attack and from your blast gyro and one of the very useful things with scrapper is that you will naturally do a lot of combos and some of them will generate even more might for you and so with this build setup you will find yourself with pretty much permanent quickness and 25 sacks of might. This will naturally do a lot more damage but especially because of the grandmaster applied force our might is even more important because it increases our power so you will do even more damage than usual. Short fuse is going to give us fury when we hit an enemy with an explosion and then no scope is also going to give us fury when we do a critical hit on an enemy within the range of 450 which will be pretty much all the time and so from those two combined you should also have permanent fury. No scope is also going to give us an extra 150 ferocity every time we have fury. Sharpshooter will give us a 33% chance to apply bleeding whenever we critically hit an enemy and then hematic focus will increase our critical chance by 15% when we're hitting enemies that are bleeding. And so those two traits combined will work very well and you will pretty much have this 15% all the time. On top of that we have high caliber that will also give you 15% extra critical chance when you are hitting enemies within 450 range so with all of those traits combined on top of the fury we will have permanently and on top of our stats you will find yourself doing pretty much critical hits all the time. Another very useful condition you will apply will be vulnerability and especially when the fight goes a little longer for example if you are fighting a champion you will find yourself easily applying 25 stacks of vulnerability which will increase your damage and condition damage you do by 25%. That's because you have your hammer auto attack, hammer 2 and your hammer 5 all of which will apply vulnerability and then your first attack when you enter combat will apply vulnerability explosions will apply more vulnerability and then from this trait each stack of vulnerability will increase our strike damage by half a percent which means that maximum stacks you will do an extra 12.5 percent extra strike damage modified ammunition will also enable you to do two percent extra damage for each condition on the enemy and so on average from this trait we will get an extra four percent more damage because of the bleeding you will apply a lot of the time and because of the extra vulnerability also 
each one of your gyros is important on its own. Your heel gyro will give you a big burst of heel at the beginning and then keep pulsing extra heels every second. This will also give you the F1 skill which will give you a combo water feel and as I mentioned you will naturally do a lot of blasts with this build so you will give yourself more heels. When you use bulwark gyro at the beginning you will give yourself about 2k barrier and then it will keep pulsing about 1k barrier after this. And so impact savant and bulwark gyro will work together very well and you will find yourself with a lot of barrier most of the fight. This will also give you the defense field tool build skill which will give you some stability and it's also very good for reflects when needed. Just make sure you drop it on yourself if you want the stability. If you drop it far away you will not get it. Blast gyro will also do a lot of damage and it will give you might and it will stun. That's on top of the other benefits we already explained before. It will give you a bypass coating for the tool build skill which will give you super speed and this system break if needed. And shredder gyro will keep spinning around you like this which will do a lot of damage but it's also a well finisher which will work very well with a lot of your skills especially hammer 5. So for example if I use hammer 5 now and then shredder gyro you will see a lot of combos happening that will do even extra damage. This will also give us a spare capacitor which will do some extra damage but more important it will daze which will help with breaking bar and sneak gyro will help you with stills if you need to skip the fight and then function gyro will also do a little bit of damage it will give you super speed but more important it will raise a lives or finish downs wherever you drop it. So for example if you had an ally downed there you can just drop your function gyro and it will res. So now that we understand how the build works let me show you how to use it effectively. From the hammer you will use two skills all the time. They will be hammer 2 and hammer 5. The next ones you will use will be shredder gyro and blast gyro. This will give you a lot of bones and it will do a lot of damage. And those will be the four skills you want to use all the time pretty much. Everything else will depend on the situation. Use bulwark gyro if you need extra battery for extra sustain, medic gyro of course if you need the extra heal, snake gyro if you want to escape away from the enemies or give yourself super speed, hammer 3 is very good if you want to also escape enemies or you want to close the gap with them, hammer 4 is a block for 2 seconds and it will also give you a barrier and from your tool build skills you will use your f1 when we need a little bit extra sustain, this will give you some super speed which will give you heals because of the rapid regeneration trait, it will also give you protection which will reduce the damage and this will also give you a water combo field, defense field will be used in anytime you need the reflect or the stability. Bypass coating is mainly there for a stun break because this will be your only source but you can also use it if you want the super speed or the extra heals. Spare capacitor is very good for breaking bar and F5 can be used to finish downs or res allies mainly but you can also use it for a little bit of extra damage or super speed if needed. We are also using rifle as a secondary weapon that is also berserker with the same sigils as the hammer. This will only be used if you find yourself in fights where you have to range and you cannot melee but otherwise be on your hammer because it will be much better overall. As I mentioned at the beginning you can use this build as a very good option for power DPS in group content like fractals, strike missions and raids. And for this we will only need to do a few changes. In firearms we will leave everything as it is. Explosives we are now using 3, 1, 3. That's because mainly you will have other support people providing fury for you. And then in scrapper we will have 1, 3, 3. And that's again because we will not need the extra heals because most of the time you will have a dedicated healer for this. We will remove sneak gyro and use the supply crate instead. This will have a much longer cooldown but it will do a little bit of damage at least at the beginning. Throw mine is very good for multiple reasons. First of all it will do a lot of damage especially that it will do damage twice. And the best thing about it is it will auto detonate if you drop it on the enemy. So as you can see I'm aiming it at the golem right now and once it dropped it already exploded again. But if you dropped it somewhere else you will then have to detonate the mine yourself. This will also remove boons which will be very helpful especially in fractals and it will stun which will help a lot with break bar and basically all of this works twice and so your rotation this time will be very very similar you will use hammer 2 and hammer 5 along with shredder gyro and blast gyro whenever they are ready the only skill extra you will use with them will be throw mine as for the supply crate just use it whenever it's available which will basically be once or twice in most cases during the fight the other skills are again based on the situations as I explained earlier the only new extra tool build skill here will be minefield which will do a little a bit extra damage but I don't recommend including it in the rotation because your auto attack will be more powerful. We can also do some more changes with the gear. For example instead of using crusader trinkets we can use berserker instead which will give us a lot more damage. We can also swap a relic of chronomancer with relic of the thief. The last gear change we can do is to buy a valkyr hammer from the trading post which is very cheap and in here we will use sigil of force and sigil of air. This will help increase our damage a lot and if you want you can do the same thing with a we can do even more damage by using Rit of Land Strength
strengths for our utility consumable, or if you can afford it, then rid of masterful strengths will be even more effective. Also for our food, you will find yourself better off with bowl of sweet and spicy butternut squash soup. And if your group ever needed some extra quickness, you can use this build as a very good option for quickness DPS for group content. Firearms will be 3, 1, 2, and pinpoint distribution here will be mainly for the extra might to the group. Explosives we will use 2, 1, 3, and scrapper we have 1, 3, 2. And the main difference here will be the grandmaster trait, which will convert 13% of your power into concentration, which will be very good to keep up your boons for longer. It will also give us quickness anytime we do a blast finisher or a leap finisher in a combo field. And by the way, this will also work if the combo field was from another player. It doesn't have to be yours. And in group content, you will see a lot of fields pretty much all the time on the bosses. And so you will do tons of finishers on them, which will help a lot to keep up the quickness. That's exactly why we're also now using the Sumper turret as one of the utility options. Because when you drop that turret itself, you can then detonate, which will give you a blast finisher. But also the tool build skill for it is another blast finisher, which both will work very well and it will give you quickness. Supply crate will do double finishers because when you drop it, that's a blast finisher on its own. But then you can also detonate, which will also be another finisher. Through mine will blast twice. Blast gyro will provide the combo field and the finisher at the same time. Your medic gyro is a water field. Your function gyro is also now a blast finisher and it provides a field already. So it will do quickness just from that skill. Your F1 is also a field that will keep moving with you all the time. And your skill 3 is a leap finisher that will do it multiple times. So with this setup, you will find yourself applying tons of fields and a lot of finishers to give a lot of quickness. As for the rotation with this setup, you basically want to use your hammer 2, hammer 3, and hammer 5 anytime you are of cooldown. And you will do the same thing with all of your utility skills. And in the case of the supply crate and for the sumper turret, make sure you detonate them. From your tool build skills, you also want to use your F1, your F2, and your F5 anytime they are available. What I just explained will be the ideal way to use this build to guarantee a lot of uptime of quickness. But if using that many skills is a problem, we can reduce that down to only 4 skills. That will be in that order, Medic Gyro, Throw Mine, Hammer 3, and then Blast Gyro. I will show you now on the Golem quickly, even without Alacrity. Here is Medic Gyro first, and then Throw Mine, Hammer 3, and Blast Gyro. And just keep repeating this over and over whenever those skills are ready. Make sure you will use the Magnanimous Maintenance Oil, and the Soul Pastry Food, which are already the main consumables for this build. And if you want even more bone duration to be 100% extra careful, you can use Relic of the Herald instead. This will give you concentration every time you apply boons to allies, which you will do pretty much all the time. I hope you enjoyed this build and it works well for you when you use it. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future builds, please also let me know in the comments. And last, if you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like to see more build guides in the future. And don't forget to check the description for very important guides related to this one. And if you also want to see the rest of the builds that I made, I will now leave you with some footage for this build in action. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next guide.